Hello everyone and welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton and welcome to another 24-7 news report. Starting out with the big news today, um, Everton are set to enter the race to sign Hull winger Jaden Philogene. The Blues are lining up a £16 million bid for the 22-year-old, that comes from the mail. Um, to get, a lot of people know Philogene for that one amazing goal, the Rabona goal, um, but I think it's... To, the one thing to get clear here is how big of a talent Villagin is and how much of a steal for such a low price this would be for Everton considering, you know, we're paying more than £16 million or around £16 million for Illuman and Dai, who I think is a few years older and I think, but I think it really shows getting a young English talent for the same amount, you don't really do that much anymore. So in the Championship, he got 12 goals and 6 assists in 32 games um, with 126 shot creating actions. And just to go a little more deeper into that, a uh, great strike on him, shown by the 12 goals from a winger in a whole team that pushed for playoffs at times, but could be stagnant at times, could could really struggle scoring the goals at times. And I think that is something that led to manager Liam Rossini actually getting sacked by the club, even though he was a pretty good manager. Um, great strike on him, fantastic at carrying the ball, arguably the best dribbler in the championship, something that I think can translate right up into the Premier League. And something Everton are really crying out for is a dynamic dribbler who can offer a little bit of pace along with that to really push the team forward because I think that is that one thing that we've really struggled with someone with that pace and dynamic dribbling ability to really push us into the final third to create chances. I think Harrison's a pretty good dribbler and I think McNeil's pretty good as well. McNeil's probably more on the better side of being a dribbler but I think having two dynamic wingers who can really change the game with the dribbling is something that could really help the club and really push us forward and for a price of £16 million, there's, you know, it's a steal really, and um, we're run, running a poll currently on the Twitter with around 900 votes so far, uh, saying Jane Philogene Everton, leave us your thoughts. 74% said yes, 23% said no, and 3% said, have I done the most yet? 74% said no, 23% said maybe, 3% said no. Um, a bit of an interesting one for the ones who are saying maybe and no, especially for such a cheap fee. When you look at some of the fees involved in other players around, and I think especially with the hype of Yuku Minter is probably why a lot of fans are saying no. But in my opinion, if unless we're going to sign both of them, I think this should take priority over the Minter deal, to be completely honest with you. I think it's almost half the price that we'd be paying. I think it is literally less than half the price we'd pay for Minter. And I think it's someone who will have more resale value in the future, to be honest, if we don't push on to Europe and we do need to sell him in the long run. But speaking of Yukuba Minter, Everton have attempted to get back into the race for Yukuba Minter while doors are, while the door on discussions for Dominic Calvert-Lewin has been left ajar. Um, Everton would need to reduce their £37 million pound asking price and that comes from the Chronicle. Um, so we have, again, run another poll on Twitter. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Minter slash DCL situation? Are you happy to sell DCL to Newcastle to sign Minter? 70% have said yeah, 16% have said no, and 14%, uh, 16% have said maybe, and 14% have said no, and that's from around 2,300 votes. Um, I think I, if the Philogene deal is really on the cards, I'd say no, because I think the biggest problem is going to be coming with replacing Calvert-Lewin, because I think the club are going to have to sign a striker because... Beto, while he looks like he has the tools, was unreliable. And Chimiti, again, while looked good, it was a tiny sample size. So I think we'd have to sign a striker. And I know, I can imagine how to buy those available from Luton on a decent fee. But I think the club has to put that into perspective first. And if they can sign someone like Philogene, then I do think that has to take priority over selling Carver Loon for 37 and then buying Minter for 35. I think it's a, a deal that I'd... Um, with, the possibility of Philogene, of course. Without, I probably would sign Minter and then believe in the club to sign a striker because it looks like the plan that the club had this summer looks really exciting with the players being that have been brought in and the players that have been rumoured to be brought in. It looks really exciting and it looks like a really good set of moves for Everton. But I think we've it's shown over the past few years how important a striker is and how much it has caused trouble for this club over the past few years with the irony of Cavalloon being the striker that those problems have um, risen from due to his injuries. But yeah, I think it, I'm in the middle section about it now that the Philogene news has come out. Um, but also, Fabrizio Romano tweeted that Yakuba Minter is one to watch in the next 24 to 48 hours. The player's priorities are moved to Everton, but Leon have made the best proposal. The player and club are in contact to make a decision soon. There are rumours that Brighton have also become interested, so don't be surprised if Minter ends up going to Brighton, if I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, but 
Moving on, Roma manager Daniele De Rossi is a big fan of Amadou Onana. Everton could potentially sell the Belgian to Roma if they are taken over by the Friedkin group. That comes from Pete O'Rourke. And to continue on with Onana, PSG are thinking about making a move for Onana. Everton won 55 to 60 million euros. Manchester United are also interested, but are currently pursuing Manuel Ugarte of PSG. That comes from Santi J on Twitter. Um, we also, again, we'll get this out of the way, run a poll on Twitter for... 50, 55 million euros around is about 46 million pounds so far and we paid around 33 million pounds with add-ons for onana um so sell onana for 55 million euros 81 percent have said um yes eight percent have said maybe and the final uh, yeah the final 11 percent have said no that's from around 1400 votes on the twitter at everton news feed um i think we should be pushing more for 50 million pounds bang on so around 60 million euros we should really be pushing for 50 million pounds on the dot that's a decent 15 million pound profit then and then i think we can move on from it i think with a team like psg who have so much money as well we should be pushing for that a little bit more understandably and i don't know how it works with roma if roma have the money to pay us that much if the freaking group are you know it's a bit of a difficult situation to go in and i do know a lot of fans will complain it, again we've had to mention this 100 times but certain fans from certain fan bases don't like to just read the simple rules on this a lot of the problems with for example i'll use Tadevo to man united the big problem is both of them play in europe and i believe they're actually both playing in the same european competition which is maybe what is causing the problems i don't think it actually has anything to do with the premier league not allowing them to sign players from the same feeder club because i also believe that uh, troy's where man city have signed savio from are in the city football group but they wouldn't have been able to sign Savio from Girona because Girona, Champions League, Man City, Champions League, if that makes any sense. And finally, it it wouldn't be a transfer video without people crying about PSR. Um, the Premier League has written to all 20 teams saying that clubs will be punished for fraudulent player transfers with the growing scrutiny of deals that has been done in an attempt to generate funds to be compliant with the league's PSR. That comes from John Percy. Uh, I, I, again, I don't think this is something to worry about because if we sign Tim Irobinum for £9 million, whose main bit of experience is a loan in the Championship, Dobbins had the same things with Derby, had his loan in the Championship also, I believe, and is one of the club's, I guess, most promising youngsters in a sense. So yeah, I, I don't really see a big deal with it. I think it's just a lot of, a lot of crap. I think it's more appease the masses from the premier league here than actually do caring it's more to get people on their side especially with the government rumors of an um the stuff going on in elections and talking about the uh, independent regulars coming in as football i do think this is people like masters and that's final chance to try and get people on side to be completely honest with you so i wouldn't really take too much into that if i'm being completely honest with you even though again john percy fantastic journalist i just think that it this is the premier league trying to put their foot down and trying to make it out like they have everything in control when reality they haven't had control in years now but that is all if you did enjoy this video please make sure to like and subscribe follow us on twitter at everton newsfeed and follow me on twitter at callum brannan free and i'll see you all for the next video and or live stream that i'm on thank you everyone Bye.